Welcome to Charles TVE, the channel that deals with real life situations that can help improve your living standards. If you're new to our channel, remember to subscribe, like, share our video, add your comments and contributions. We continue uh, from the uh, Japa document, Japa DA document, um, following on from volume two. This is volume three. Now we've given all the background information about uh, the nation Ghana about the Akufuado government of friends and family and their intention of um, basically securing assets, resources of Ghana for their own personal uh, benefit. Um, if this Ejapadie document is a fact, if um, it's ascertained to be a fact, then all these actions or plans may be deemed treasonable to the nation of Ghana. The reason is that the whoever is given the stewardship of uh, leading the nation should act in the best interest of the nation and its people and not to use resources or have any plans that... Um, basically works against the nation for the interests of a particular family or a particular clan because Ghana is for all Ghanaians and it's not for any particular group of people and so we carry on um, uh, from uh, the section that is uh, subtitled capital market so I continue to read mother Compatriot Obame Tete is doing a fantastic job heading the Security and Exchange Commission, just like the banking sector. The cleanup leading to the renovation of license of several funds and assets management companies was a success despite legal challenges from a handful of defunct entities in this space. Pa, Papa Kwesi Indum's Black Shield Capital is causing a few troubles, but he can easily be dealt with using our numerous advantage in the judiciary or even his dodgy relationship with the CIA. Leadership of a SEC is one of our key allies and requires no changes at all. Of the 11 board members, 10 are either directly appointed by the government or representative of government institutions. Hence, things will always be under our control uh, throughout phase two. So here you are. If this document is deemed to be factual, then you can see that intention of uh, controlling the nation through their network of proxies. But, and obviously all these are sort of coded language. Here they start off with biological children. So the biological children, are when data bank is mentioned, then one can only assume that it is in relations to Ken Oforiata, the finance minister of Ghana. Data Bank is a household name in the financial industry. It's our beloved child in the industry. Its presence as governmental advisory financial transaction, uh, governmental advisory financial transaction is to be intensified, including mobbing interested foreign companies to partner with Data Bank on such issues. In fourth federance of this end, all major government financial transactions are to be executed in the first two years of Nana's second term. This will bring in the needed funds to fight the battle to install Baumia as part of the succession, succession plan to the advantage of Baumia. And so it is hard to think that this document 
is a fiction because this was written in AD 2020 and we are now in 2023 and it is evident that the NPP has put their weight behind Baumia and now Baumia is the flag bearer of the NPP party where heavyweights like Alan Chematin has now been pushed out of the NPP party and so I could based on the uh, sequence of events I can only uh, come to that conclusion that this document is indeed a fact rather than fiction and if it's a fact then all the parties involved in a way can easily be charged with treason against the nation Ghana. Adopted children, major players within the security sector besides Data Bank are EDC Investment of Ecobank, Stanley of Stambeck, and SES of Togbe Afide. These are institutions we will struggle to get into for obvious reasons. Our only chance of influencing the first two somewhat were if our banking strategy is well orchestrated to secure some influence in Ecobank and Stambeck Bank, which will eventually offer some leverage around EDC and Stanley. Regarding SAS, all efforts should be made to weaken it by using our foreign friends to offer juicy funds to asset management roles to keep personnel within. SAS in order to tempt them away from, the, from that setup, thus weakening its ability to compete effectively. One point four three mining oil and gas industry. Our mining as well as oil and gas strategies constitute a major plank of the blueprint for controlling the extraction of natural resources which God has generously bestowed on Ghana, particularly the Achem land. Growing environmental factors are rendering risky our use of illegal small-scale mining galamsey as a source of financing our political objective. There is therefore the need to rule out a more rigorous legal means of controlling significant stake in the legal gold value chain. To this end, a cursory look at the a cursory look at the approved concession should be looked at Asante Bidye too, is to lead the process to take over these concessions detailed below and consolidate them into the extended Ejapa LLC incorporated in Jersey. So you can see this is an absolute treason that uh, there is that intention to basically take charge, uh, control of the Ghana oil and gas uh, industry and to consolidate them into a company, an offshore company called Ejapa LLC, which is incorporated in Jersey. So Jersey is an offshore uh, a spot in England where obviously uh, people that are defrauding nations in Africa uh, hide their money. So here you are clearly in the Japa document. Uh, this is actually been stated. And so this, if anything at all, this actually gives that opportunity uh, for obviously state the state prosecutor to actually investigate all these activities. Uh, obviously, this will not be done under this current government because obviously the government, as it seems, have a, a holistic plan to control all aspects of Ghana, which I think will also involve the control of the state prosecutor. But the leads are there. 
and clear and is written so it can surely be investigated. Companies to group stock enterprise qualified to operate. The following companies and group enterprises have satisfied the minimum requirement to operate as small scale mining entities and are under probation for six months, effective 17th December 2018. The number of months lost for the mining license and environmental permits, which were valid before the ban, will be credited to those uh, to these companies, groups and enterprises. Again, the operating permit, which was paid for in 2017, will be credited to them for the year 2019. By Friday, 29 March 2019, each entity should have an insurance policy, tax identification number, and social security number for all its employees. As more companies through groups and enterprises go through vetting successfully and satisfy the minimum requirement to operate as small-scale mining entities, they will also be published. All licenses issued on or after 1st July 2016 are null and void. Affected entities uh, should contact the IMCIM from 14 January 2019 and federal. So these are the illegal, well, basically, uh, should you say the illegal or small-scale mining companies. And obviously, this is a big deal, i.e. on Galamse. So obviously, with that Galamse destroying the land of the nation and also the water bodies in the country, there was that noise made by the president of Ghana that Galamse needs to be stopped. And yet you can see there are a whole host of companies listed here small scale companies that are basically issued licensing to operate in the small scale mining industry which is the galamse in ghana and as it was mentioned earlier these are to be done to basically facilitate the funding of the uh, party uh, political uh, finance or funding so you can see lots of um uh, concessions in Etiwa, which uh, must probably be in the eastern region of Ghana. So we continue to, I mean, these are all uh, somewhat relevant. So there's maybe any Awasu Bekwai region where obviously you can see there are various allocated uh, companies. Um, so this is a big, big deal. Big deal. to scroll down until we come to some sort of uh, text uh, to read and so really it is a tragedy uh, for one to there is also something in wasa a tragedy to see a nation run in this manner um, so here we go again uh, the passage of the minerals income investment fund act and the setting up of the first special purpose vehicle a japa royalties in jersey will allow us in various capacities and through our and and through our friends to acquire a uh, malonte of day to be listed on the london stock exchange and the Ghana Stock Exchange, the cash flow will be strategically undervalued. So you can see that intention. And so this is a minefield for an, any sort of investigator that is if there should be a change of government. And this these matters needs to be investigated. The leads are very clear and assets um, stated here that the EJAPA uh, uh, a Japa company, a Japa royalties uh, that is Jersey, will be listed in the London Stock Exchange, and so this also gives that lead for any investigator uh, to basically go after these um, 
uh, uh, these offshore companies. Um, so the Ghana government or the Ghana, the nation of Ghana can actually um, sue to recover these companies, these offshore companies, as the assets and the funds in these companies are actually assets for the nation of Ghana. Undervalue, so they basically intend to undervalue to Maxi uh, Mezios return. We will get a share of the money raised through IPOs on the two exchanges through paveway payments by contractors who will work on the funded project. We will also get shares of the dividend for our equity holdings in the SPV. And so one remembers when uh, the current president took over uh, the nation in 2016, he took such a long time to appoint his ministers and the people that he was intending to work with. When he was questioned, he said that he is getting the best brains of Ghana to come together to work for the best interest of the nation. Now, as it appears in this document, that is actually not the case. He's basically gotten his people to work for the interest of his own clan, the Achim clan, and also for his network of family and friends. And this may have actually caused the um, uh, those who were very much aware in the early stages to dub this uh, president and his cronies as the Achim Mafia. And so, um, or, you know, it is obvious that uh, the contents of this document actually confirms it. That is, if it is deemed to be factual. The funds raised will be used to finance the setup of my, uh, mining, I'm assuming that's mining, companies by our allies. The Minerals Commission will be pushed to issue licenses and good concessions to these companies. This will effectively transition us from Galancé mining to legal mining license, licensing companies. Future inflow from these entities will be invested in additional companies to be strategically positioned along the precious minerals chain. I'm assuming that is what it is actually reading. And so this is a, this is, a, I mean, the more you read this, you see that this is actually, is high treason for any uh, uh, government that is entrusted uh, with the stewardship of the nation to work in this manner, which is totally against the nation and its people. A similar blueprint, blueprint, blue, oh, sorry, a similar blueprint will be replicated in the oil and gas sector, which will also commence with the setting up of SPVs using petroleum revenue that currently flows into the consolidated fund as receivables to be mortgaged. And so this is where these uh, intelligent people that were employed by the government are actually using their intelligence to work against the interests of the nation. The technical team led by Mother Oforiata should further evaluate the following details under uh, uh, details order to choose the appropriate site. So you can see they've mapped out the site. As you can see there. Um, yeah. So in the, uh, yeah. So you can see the layout uh, there. Now we move on to telecommunications 14.4. Telecommunications. We currently do not have much foothold in this sector. The critical role that telecom companies play in the lives and the economy 
fortunes of this country requires to make a strong entry into the sector. The successful planting of GVG into the telecom sector has given us unparalleled advantage in terms of having a view of activity flow within the sector and the ability to monitor communications of persons of our, choose, of our choosing. The intelligence, uh, is it that, I don't know if it's filtering or something like that. Power allows us to target and eliminate any potential threats from maybe the mother, the NPP, particularly those not inherently loyal to our cause and nanas, which include members of the of the opposition and DC. So here you are, you see a plot where they have a, a, a plant, a planting in the communications sector, GVG, to basically make waves, to take control and to monitor the communications between persons that are not um, uh, in support of this uh, 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 abysmal uh, and dangerous uh, uh, leadership. Our sister is charge. Uh, our sister in charge of the ministry responsible for this sector is doing remarkably well, especially her confrontation with MTN Ghana, resulting in administrative measures aimed at curtailing the business of MTN from 2021 so as you can see there there's a plot to basically attack mtm which is uh, a telecommunications business in ghana legislation will need to be introduced to break up the business of mtn using national security and antitrust reasons as justification our loyal allies will then be enabled to occupy the space so as you can see a strategy using antitrust um, uh, uh, strategies and national security to break up MTN because MTN is not deemed to be one of the companies that are basically supporting the activities of this uh, president. It is so disappointing uh, that the confidence that people place in Nama to find that this is the way that he and his people have decided to run Ghana. Never in the history of Ghana has anyone actually ventured into this type of territory uh, against the nation of Ghana. To be considered by MTN, such entry will, I don't know why KKI, significant strategy, strategic advantage over our competitors now for example under the leadership of um, john jerry rollins there was a great deal of privatization which caused ghana as a nation to lose a great deal of uh, of of um, its assets but in those times the these were influenced by the imf who were giving loans to Ghana and actually giving that conditionality for Ghana to sell all state assets, for which uh, it is only obvious that they would have been acquired by multinational corporations and also powerful political leaders in Ghana. So this was the first time that Ghana's assets came under this level of attack. But uh, this level here, as seen in this Ejapadia document is just um, disgraceful, it's, it's terrible, it's disappointing, and it's shocking that uh, you know anybody could have this type of an idea uh, running against a nation that has put them in the position where they are. And obviously betraying the confidence that people put in the person of Nana Adudangwa Kufuado and also the NPP party. The political terrain. As we make the final push for the ECB in the Electoral Commission, 
registration, it is not to rule out final onslaught to ensure that NDC eventually becomes a fringe party, whereas we do not expect the Electoral Commissioner herself to cripple the NDC. We could deploy the other non-EC functions such as the maintenance law and uh, the maintenance of law and order using our people within the security agencies to frustrate the N is probably the NDC or is said NOC supporters I think it's NDC supporters from either registering or voting Brian uh, looks like a champion will be key in this endeavor before then we must have a critical evaluation of our strengths and weaknesses in order to do well position for the task ahead so some aspect of it is not properly written but we try to make sense of it the party the youth and women wings of our party remain our weakest link every effort must be made uh, therefore to be made to get our national organizer to fill in the gap same apply to getting Esla to assist the women's wing the standard tag on Nana Bwachi seems to be a perfect description of who he is per the earlier assertion, assessment made by DM uh, Uforiata and the writers of the August 2019 report this is a tag we should actually shroud shoot from shroud from our personal knowledge in the meantime we should keep up assurances of broad smiles towards him until he is gradually weaned from us he pales into insignificance in comparison to george opare ado of the ndc it is therefore important to avoid a one-on-one -on -one debate between youth organizer and that of the NDC for the time being. So you can see all the plots. And we have somebody here by the name of Ken Awapon, a very good asset the party must as a matter of need and plausibility defend him going into the 2020 election he has the utmost control over our election troopers and all the former criminal elements who are proposed for the final push in addition to his deep pocket his financing of the grassroots affirms our uh, their need of him at all costs in the 2020 election while conceding his magnanimity towards the base his uh, trenchant for being a loose cannon as in attacking persons who should be left alone is something worrying assault must uh, eventually be weighing off or something like that as our project reap dividends to need less and less of his funding his self confess on bridal quest for personal wealth is a potential threat to causing us to suffer needless exposure it is important for a dossier to be prepared on him and deliberately lead through our friends in the opposition who will call for his persecution Colonel Opoku is to reuse the 2016 plan and progress to his dossier for his purpose but should not be filed under any official seal now this is this is just so bad that um, it, it really is like a gang. It's like a nation run by gangsters. Uh, this is disgraceful that uh, such wicked uh, plots 
could be carried out against persons uh, when actually the attention uh, of the leadership should be towards the building of a nation and her people. Uh, how can anybody develop a nation if this is the way that uh, resources are being used? Samuel Ewuku, uh, savory good material with excellent political, uh, I don't know if it's NPP should be, should be acknowledged, or I don't know what it, that actually means, but something should be acknowledged to him, repeat his effort off to the ground to mobilize the youth. It is, however, um, it is, however, um, where are we? However, to his uh, once again, difficult to read with and Kolo, maybe Kojo upon Nkroma. His loyalty beyond the, that of Nana cannot be guaranteed. Hence, the need to go out and prop up. So, obviously, some aspects of this document is uh, basically, it's got errors in it, so it's a bit difficult to ascertain what is being said here may be instructive to prepare pieces of information regarding his counter with the women which appears to be in excess in his case it makes him vulnerable to blackmail as a national organizer and key campaign person it is perhaps important to limit his access to the inner circle and cordon him off gradually by introducing Mustafa Hasim during the final uh, bout of the campaign. This will, in essence, shield Nana from any damage arising from a leak of Sami's escapades. A key point, however, is a much dangerous flirtation with the Kofor camp as with the Kofor camp and which raises serious questions regarding the need to contain him so all these characters I don't know who they are but perhaps uh, the people uh, Ghanaians who know <laughs> for what these persons are uh, this one is probably, I'm actually assuming that he's reading perhaps not too good to admit publicly, but his performance has been short of all past general secretaries. Going forward, we should manage the level of competence which faces us as serious political party. His actions and, and actions are complete definition of wealth accumulation agenda. His blatant involvement in Galamse in Wasa, if found, could be an embarrassing state of affairs. So here you are, there is somebody that is within the, the, their circle that is involved in Gal excessive Galamse in Wasa. And they mentioned that if this comes to the fore, that it shall be an embarrassment. Um, at this stage, I think I'll bring this video to an end. Thank you for watching Charles TV. E. Like, share our videos, add your comments and contributions. Thank you. We will continue from volume four.